Title, Chronicles of a Peculiar Passion, The Life and Loves of the Rubber Duck Enthusiast. Ladies and gentlemen, gather round for a tale that takes you on a quacky journey through the vibrant life of one man and his obsession with the unsung hero of Bath Time the Rubber Duck. Born in a town where the rivers flowed with creativity and the skies rained eccentricity, our protagonist, Chester Quackington III, emerged into a world that, unbeknownst to him, was destined to be forever. Altered by his infatuation with these buoyant, yellow companions, his childhood, like any other, was marked by the usual milestone slearning to ride a bike, mastering the art of tying shoelaces, and, of course, discovering the whimsical world of rubber ducks. It began innocently enough, with a bright yellow fellow gifted to him on his fifth birthday. Little did he know that this was the spark that would ignite a lifelong passion. As Chester navigated the tumultuous waters of adolescence, his room transformed into a sanctuary of quirkiness. Rubber ducks of all shapes and sizes adorned his shelves. He became a connoisseur, distinguishing between ducks of different hues, sizes, and squeak frequencies. His friends, at first bewildered, soon embraced his eccentricity, and the annual Rubber Duck Festival became the talk of the town. But Chester's fascination wasn't limited to the physical realm. No, he delved into the philosophical, pondering the profound questions of life while surrounded by his aquatic army. He mused on the meaning of buoyancy, the existential crisis of a deflated duck, and the sheer joy encapsulated in a simple quack. As the years flowed like a meandering river, Chester found lovey a kindred, spirit who appreciated the simple joys of floating companionship. Together, they embarked on a quixotic quest, traveling the world. In search of the rarest, most elusive rubber ducks, much like explorers in pursuit of hidden treasures. Chester Quackington III, a man molded by the whimsy of rubber ducks, taught us that passion knows no bounds. His legacy lives on in the annals of quirky history, reminding us all to embrace the delightful absurdities that make life a bit more quacktastic.